It's a day in the life of DC. Hi guys. Subscribe and join the family. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is DC. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna do a review on Ready to Love. This is season four, episode five. Um, we're gonna jump right into it, be sure. But before we get into it, be sure you do thumbs up this video so I know you're enjoying the content. Make sure you subscribe, so hit that red button down below. And then also hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. So let's get into the video. So yeah, the previous episode, Troy got kicked off. Thank God he got kicked off because he was straight a player, literally wasting everybody's time for no reason. I don't even know why he came on the show. What was your purpose? I guess he wanted to get clout, fame, whatever. So let's see what this episode has to hold. Again, this is episode five. So let's see. At this point, it should probably be back in control of the guys since the last guy got kicked off. So let's see. All right, so it looks like the first event, they're going ice skating. We got AJ, we got Jason, Alexis. Oh, Kara is her name. Kyra or Kyra? I still can't remember their names. There's too many. Kyra. Yeah, Kyra. That's her name, Kyra. So it's Kyra, AJ, Alexis, and Jason. They all go on the ice skating date. So, so AJ is expressing interest to Kyra. He said she and her type. She and his top. I'm surprised. But this could just be editing, though. You know Alexis love her some Jason. Okay, so he mentioned he has a hard time, you know, moving her out the the box of you are one of my um um teens mom, you know, one of the kids that I'm training on I forgot what it was, basketball or whatever. I'm the coach, you're the mom. So he try he having a hard time getting her out of that box. So he said that he expressed, I have a, a hard time seeing you in that light, somebody that I'm trying to be intimate with. Okay. Okay, so so Jason was honest. He, he mentioned to Alexis, hey, I'm having a hard time moving you out of that friend box, mom box, because I trained your, your kid. Like, I was his coach for basketball, so it's hard for me to move you out of that, seeing you as somebody I can date in an intimate way. So what I will say is that at least he was honest and told her up front so she didn't waste her time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so she didn't waste her time pursuing him. Cause as you know, watching it, she was so excited that he was there. Cause she's like, I had the biggest crush on him. So I, I'm glad that he at least came out and said, you know what? I don't think I can move you into that box and see you intimately. So let me just let you know now up front. So I respect that. I totally respect that. So that gives her the opportunity to say, okay, cool. Let me go, you know, seek my other interests that I like. So perfect. That was cool. Nothing wrong with that. Jason, he said he liked Kyra, whoever. Cool. So yeah, I I totally have to um I mean you gotta respect that honestly. Cause I I didn't know. I didn't know if um he was gonna uh, if he was gonna string her along because generally speaking a lot of the guys just string you along and it, and that's kind of bold because you like dang you could have just told me you ain't like me like that and then i could have just like with the chris situation like i don't want to be like dang i could have met somebody else but i didn't because you was playing like you liked me so i'm glad that he told her up front. so yeah so i'm glad he told her and was honest up front so that was that's what's up that's cool. So they could just be friends and leave it like that. So Stacy doing a one on one with Ron. So we're going to see how this goes. Because I thought the last date were Ron and um, Chrysanthia. I didn't think it was very exciting, but she said she enjoyed the date. So we'll see what the date is like with Stacy. See what Stacy said. So she thought he cooked for her, but really he just ordered it. She was a little turned off a little bit by that. Like, oh, you cooked me some food? No, I ordered you some food. He see was honest. He could have lied. Some people be lying about cooking. So Stacy got three kids. Hmm. I would have known she in good shape doing them Pilates must work. Maybe I need to do some Pilates. Okay, so Stacy and Chris Anthony get along. They call them freaking frat. 
the name of? Seven inches in run. So she asked them, I need clarity. Who you like? Who's your real number one? Who's your real top? I think you're gonna say Chrysanthemum. Okay. He said Chrysanthemum be his top in the beginning. Right. She did make him choose. This seemed too early. It's only a fifth episode. It seemed too early to be making somebody choose, but I mean, hey. She seemed, she seemed, she seemed a little hurt like she just knew he was gonna pick her, but I mean, obviously they don't show us everything, but to us, we ain't really seen them together like that. So, but who knows behind the scenes how many, you know, interactions they had, but to the viewers, we haven't seen them together. We seen him go on a date with Chrysanthia, so, you know, I, I could imagine he have a better connection. So that's what he said. So she seemed a little hurt, but she probably like, all right, I'm gonna bow out gracefully and keep moving. So Chris is going on a date with Amber, I think. I think that's her name, Amber. I think they're meditating. Okay, so they both into meditating, that's what's up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like them together. It's cute so far, it's cute. I really want, I really want Chris to meet somebody. So she said she she liked it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, Chris. All right. Woo. Woo. That scared me. Hold on. That scared me. I was like, come on, Chris. Don't mess it up again, Chris. Come on. So he she asked, well, how do you feel about marriage? She like, well, you know. Marriage is not the end all be all for me. If we, if you want to get married, let's get married. I was like, oh, her face was looking like, what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm like, come on, Chris, don't fuck it up again. You know, he said one thing, fucked it up, and then everybody like, we ain't messing with him. You know, the whole purpose of this show is people trying to find love. People want to get married. All these women like, I want to get married, have a family, or whatever. It's like, I'm like, come on, Chris. But okay, her face was looking like, what the fuck you saying, Chris? And she switched and said, okay, I understand. If you looking for soulmate, I'm looking for my soulmate. That's what she said. If I have a soulmate, everything will come in time. So I'm glad he had me on pins and needles right now. I was like, damn, he about to fuck it up again. But, but she accepted it. So, But that face was like, like, huh? So, so far, so good. I'm like, whoo, whoo. Thank God, shit. Cause I'm like, you about to fuck up again? Come on, Chris. You had two times. Come on, Chris. Shit, everybody hates Chris. Goddamn. All right. So now we got a day with Chris, Cynthia, and Ron. Look like he doing salsa. They doing salsa dancing. For a second, it looked like Ron pigeon toe, but we'll see. Oh, okay. It's a group date. We got AJ. We got David. No. What the hell is the name? Joel. Oh, oh, Ron is teaching the class. Oh, it's Ron that's teaching this. Oh, they didn't get an instructor. Ron is teaching. Okay, okay. He get he get cool points for that teaching everybody a dance. That's cool. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, so then he split them up and let them do a one on one together. So that's cool. So this was a nice little date. Who knew he knew how to salsa? They trying. Joel and Venetia, they trying. Him and that accent, boy. Him and that accent, boy. Oh. Uh, Joel, Joel smooth. Uh-oh. So Alexis in the ladies' lounge said Ron is her top. And she been getting to know him. So... And she stated that Ron has told her that she's number one. Chrysanthia coming for that. She said, let me know, I heard this, what's the truth? So he said, I got a top three, honey. So it looks like it's Chrysanthia, Alexis, and I don't know who the third one is for him. He said Stacy, but after Stacy put him on the the uh, chopping block, he might have pushed Stacy. Oh, Chris Anthony's number two. Who the hell's number one? Hold on, who's number one? 
the Alexis number one? So who the hell number no? I thought Christina thing was his time. Now she like, you won my number one, boo. But after that date, you skyrocketed. Damn, but who number one? Maybe I missed that. Who the hell's number one for him? She said, I, I don't do number two. I'm only number one. He like, uh, I'm looking for a partner. Not, it ain't about number one, number two. So She like turned off about him already. Like, hold on. So she was expecting when she asked, hey, Alexa said this. She said, you said that she was your top. Um, what's up? She expected him to be like, no, I didn't say that. She not my top, you my top. And she ain't get that. She got you number two. She ain't like that. Okay, so uh, it's a spice and tea exchange. I think that's what they said with, uh, with Derek and, what's her name, Tressa? Diedrich, that's his name, Diedrich. I'm messing up everybody got their name. So I'm definitely gonna put up pictures. Cause I'm messing up everybody got their name. Diedrich and T and Tressa went to a spice shop. But I remember he mentioned that, I think in like the second episode, I'm gonna take it to the spice shop. So he said, don't use imitation. Oh, he said, don't use imitation vanilla ever. What the hell? He said, hold on, hold on. He said, never use vanilla abstract. Um, never use imitation vanilla abstract because the process is nasty. They use, he said, a, a, a beaver, a beaver anal sac that they extract and put in there. Oh, hell no. So you gotta be checking your shit. Hold on, let me make sure this ain't imitation. Let me make sure this is real vanilla extract because that is nasty. Okay, so that's what he said. He said this was a good outing however i didn't feel any connection i just feel like i was hanging out with my homie not you know not with my girl and it is giving that vibe it's giving a vibe like this is my homie i'm taking to the spice shop to explain stuff it ain't this is my girl and she said that she said i just need to know he said i got a good personality he said no man has ever said oh shit she got a great personality i like her like, you know, usually they be like, I'm so attracted to her type stuff. They don't be like, oh my God, her personality is out this world. I gotta be with her. Which is true, that don't usually happen. But Tressa's nice. She seems like a nice girl. But she just giving homie vibes. But she ain't trying to give homie vibes though. She, like she said, she came on serious. I'm not trying to make you laugh, that type of thing, that type of energy. I'm trying to find me a husband. So, he not interested. So I think, so I think she got her answer. That's. That's what she said. She got her answer. He just, they just friends. So I don't think she really hit it off with nobody else just yet, but we'll see. She might, she might be out of here. She might be out of here. Cause I don't, I don't know so far anybody who hit it off with her. Like, oh, I really like her, blah, blah. blah. I don't know. I think, um, Joel, not Joel, Jason. I think Jason in the beginning was like, oh, she's really nice, yada, yada, yada. But we ain't seen them together since. So now they going to some kind of masquerade ball with each other, so this should be nice. Everybody dressed up. So let's see. Alexis be swaying, she, uh, bomb.com. Where's your mask at, Alexis? Where's your mask at? I don't see her mask right now, but we'll see. It's a masquerade. Oh, we was looking good. Mm. Yeah, Liz looking good in this pink dress. Yeah. She got the boobies out, child. She got the boobs out, child, in this tight dress. David, like, mesmerized. Like, woo! Boobies is out, child. He like, he said, I want people to know. Know what? That y'all together? Yeah, David like, girl, you mad, child, you mad. But she she looking good, I gotta say, she looking good. From the episode, you kinda see her, like, she look cute, but she be modest. She came out like, what the fuck? Like, I'm, like how Alexis wanted to be, Alexis fly, how she wanted to be, that's how, that's how Liz naturally walked in, like, girl, I got it. Alexis, I'm fly, I'm fly, I'm Alexis fly. 
you tried a little too hard. She just walked in and killed it. Cause we like, woo, everybody like, we ain't never seen her like this. But everybody look nice, but I wasn't expecting that from Liz. But Liz did the damn thing. Right, everybody point Liz out. So it's a masquerade ball. His wife must about to come. He talking about he don't want to host by herself. His wife. His wife. Look at her. I ain't mad at him. You knew his wife was about to come. She cute. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so tonight they supposed to drop their mask and let everybody know who you are. Be who you are. Can't go wrong with being who you are. Can't nobody be you. But yeah, they cute. His wife cute. Cute couple. But Lexus did the thing. I mean, not Lexus. Liz did the damn thing. She came in there like, whoop. You know, look like okay Chris and Ryan is dancing so maybe they got over there because she was so irritated in the previous clip like what your second I can't I can't believe that they really like Ron that tough I am shocked Stacy pressuring again is she moving up in your top like geez he not gonna like her she telling her Stacy talking about some you know she like, child, are he, is she moving up? Like, dang, you a little aggressive. So I see Alexis is taking advice from um, Uncle Tommy's wife. I don't remember her name was. So she giving good advice. You got to stick it out. You know, I don't know why she was on the stairs anyway. So Chris and Stacy, they freaking frag. They best friends. She said men are intimidated by they duel. Chris. So the fellas are saying, freaking frack is doing too damn much. Y'all here to find love, not be best friends. Like y'all can be best friends, but damn, you here to find love. You here to meet your husband. You need to mingle and meet people. They hanging out. We freaking frack. We freaking frack. They like, Chris like, they doing a little much. Okay, y'all need to separate and meet somebody. So they saying the same thing to Tommy. Tommy like, uh, are y'all gonna mingle? We are mingling. He like, y'all like some of the same guys we do. And then they like, yeah, they like, we didn't know y'all was that close. We didn't expect that. Like, and she like, well, hell, we didn't either. So, that's crazy. So they see them as one person now because they together so fucking much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah, you can't. I mean, cool, you got a best friend. Y'all cool, 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 cool. But you're there to find a mate. So y'all running around together. This ain't what that show for. After the fact, after, you know, you're done filming. Cool, cool, cool. That ain't what you here for. That's what the, the people saying. That's what the men saying. Like, they doing a little much. They together all the time. They basically like one person now. You like this one, you got like that one. So. Okay. So now we got Jason and Liz talking. Like I said, every... Liz came, head flat on and curled. This dress is tight, fitting in the right places. The boobies are out. She getting attention. So he, so Jason asking, you know, like, dang, do we got a connection? He said, you my top pick. You one of my top picks. Uh oh. So Liz, so Liz is still a day, but we already know he top one. And now because Jason came over to Liz and was talking, so now she's like, okay, I'll give you a chance. We can talk. But yeah, I think it's just the moment. I think people see what she looked like and like, damn, I'm so good. Cause before when she was in what she probably wear every day, yeah, everybody wouldn't gravitate to you except David. Okay, so Ryan's number one is Alexis. Chris is his number two, and I think Stacy was the third. Chris is so jealous. Aw, oh, go on over there with your number one. She's so jealous. Come on. She keeps saying that. She said, we be talking on the phone. We be talking every day. Chris like, hmm? everybody coming at Ryan hard as hell, like making him explain himself. So she was saying... She made not Lexus checking. The first it was 
Chrysanthia. No, one is Stacy who checked the first, then Chrysanthia. Now it's Alexis. Everybody checking Ryan today. Like, uh, excuse me. Am I number one or am I not? The weird part to me is basic since this is what the the fourth season to me. Like I said, I, we don't know how far they are, how long they've been talking to each other. But to me, it's like, it seems too early to be like, am I your top? Like, I feel like when it get down to where it's like, I don't know, maybe like four and four, then it's kind of like, okay, well, let me know. Am I in your top or how are you feeling? Cause then it's like, we getting close to the end. At this point, it's still a lot of people. Everybody got multiple options and they drilling hard. Hey, Ron, am I your top? I heard she was your top. She was making a scene like this. I don't know if it's just me, but it seemed like it's too, it's too soon to be like drilling in hard. Like, am I your top? To me, it's like, if you ask the question casually, cool. So you kind of know where you are in the lineup. So you can kind of say, okay, I'm the third. Okay, cool. Let me weigh my other options to see who else I really like. You know, cool from that standpoint. But they drilling in, Ron. She said she was your top. I thought I was your top. What is going on? And he kind of like, well, I'm going to be honest. She is my top. And she's like, well, damn. And then you would have a stank attitude. Like, come on now. It's a dating show. Sometimes who your top is may not be. It may not be mutual. And if it's not, I mean, just weigh your options. See if it's somebody else that maybe you didn't interact with who might have something in common with you like that's the whole point of the show let me talk to everybody see who i got a connection with and go from there now i get it when it gets down to like the last four or something like four women four men and it's kind of like all right now it ain't really many options like let me know so i before i give you my heart and my all let me know but we ain't even at that part yet like y'all doing this too soon if i'm not mistaken this is the fifth episode so i'm thinking they got like what at least 10 episodes and in reality alexis really liked jason and so jason said i can't take you out that box now you going hard on ron but you wasn't going that hard with ron so in my opinion i think at this point Tressa is probably the one who's gonna leave because nobody really got a connection with her the only person who really was trying was Diedrich. So when he went to the spice shop, Tressa and Derrick, Diedrich, Diedrich and Tressa, he he was the only person really giving her a chance. It seems like you know as far as what they're showing us, and now he like I'm still getting homie vibes. I'm not really getting any type of chemistry or anything. So I'm pretty sure Tressa's probably about to leave. But she's nice, but. I mean, you don't have a connection with nobody. Nobody really checking for you. So, I mean, maybe she'll find love. Like I said, they always find love off the show. Right, Liz, Liz came in. Liz came hard. She was like, bitch, I'm about to show them. I'm about to show them. So, AJ like Kyra. That's who he feel the most. That's cool. So far, eh, they might make it. Chris. You know Chris, Chris is like a one. Chris on the show don't never have multiple, it's always one. So Chris, like Amber, she gonna say the same thing. So that's how Chris is, he don't never usually have multiple. David like Liz, cool. I think they will make a good couple. I think Liz, my prediction is Liz and David gonna be the one of the last ones standing, one of the three couples. Joe, baby. He like Alexis. So Ryan like Alexis. Right, it's eight women. So they said it's hard to take. They said it's hard to talk to freaking frat because they always together. And you gotta choose. Stacy's at the bottom. Uh -oh. But she was coming on too strong with Ryan, so I can see why Ryan said that. Uh oh, might be said. I might be wrong, y'all. They keep bringing up Stacy. I might be wrong. They saying Stacy too aggressive, Tressa. So Tressa and Stacy, two bottom. Tressa, because don't nobody have a connection with her. Stacy, because Stacy too damn aggressive. You coming at everybody. Well, who you gonna choose? Me? Frick a frack. Frick a frack. Like, you coming on a little too strong. Pipe it down. Pipe it down. Okay? These are men. They like, okay, relax. So, I 
still think it's gonna be Tressa because don't nobody have no romantic feelings. Stacy, some people are like, oh, I did like her, but she kind of, she probably gonna be the next one off if she keep this aggressiveness going. But I, I don't, but obviously they're gonna be the they in the bottom too, so they're gonna get the little date. But I know she's gonna be thrown back that she at the bottom. She's like, God damn, I'm at the bottom. What? I can't believe it. But you too aggressive, baby. Chill, relax. You on Ryan, you in check front. But I'm shocked that they all like Ryan. I don't get it. Maybe it's just me. I don't get it. Ryan seems like a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. I just don't see. I guess whatever they seeing, but then again, we only get snippets on the show, so but I don't see it. Like, what y'all seeing around? Because Ryan, to me, them days be seeming boring. The salsa was a little more spicy because you're dancing, you're close. He teaching the class, so he being assertive. And okay, cool. I don't know. I don't know. Stacy might be getting kicked off. She's still saying the wrong shit. Like y'all intimidated by us, freaking frat, me and Chris. Yes, y'all doing too much. We too close. Girl, this ain't the best friend. Find your best friend, show. This is fine. Your partner. So cool. You made a friend. Cool. But just chill on that. Like, y'all like this. Hey, who do you like? Me or her? Bitch. Stacy got kicked off. Yo. I thought it was going to be Tressa because then nobody was connected with her but now i see why they kicked stacy off because she even on this date still being aggressive still being like y'all intimidated by me and her y'all y'all intimidated by me and her like girl this ain't what this about so i get it that stacy got kicked off let me know what y'all think in the comments below but honestly she's a nice girl but she one being too aggressive two Y'all coming at it wrong with y'all being best friends. Cool. Y'all best friends. Cool. Cool. But why are you together with her everywhere? Because even in the event, y'all together walking around. Come on now. You're supposed to be meeting, mixing and mingling. If you talk to her for a little bit, you can chit chat with her after the show. But y'all so close. So how the, how the fuck anybody going to get to know y'all if both of y'all like this? So I get it. Ooh, bitch, I ain't see that coming. I ain't see that coming. They eliminated two women, Tressa and Stacy. I ain't see that coming, y'all. I thought Tressa was gonna leave, like I said, cause she ain't got no connection. But then the actions of Stacy and her on the day, you still hyped up, like y'all intimidated by us? Okay, child. So they eliminated both of their asses, goddamn. Now I know women, they gonna be like, when they go back to that damn lounge, they gonna be like, what the fuck? They eliminate two? Oh shit, what the fuck? So that mean the next round, I guess they gonna have to eliminate two men? I don't know, we'll see y'all. I don't know, they chopping them up real fast. I don't know y'all, shit, maybe it won't be 10 seasons. I mean, 10 episodes. Damn, I was not expecting them to eliminate Two people like wow that threw me back i did not know that like i said my prediction was tressa and then hearing stacy in that on that day i was like uh stacy talking wrong so maybe it will be fucking stacy but it ended up being both day asses so i know when they come back because you know after it's done they always come back to the sister lounge or whatever they call it they're gonna be like god damn y'all got rid of two people so you don't know who the fuck going so you really gotta be on your p's and q's because you don't know you could be eliminated at any fucking time before it was like a man go a woman go a man go so you kind of felt like okay i'm safe but now bitch you like they only gotta eliminate one i ain't fuck up that bad i ain't fuck up as more you know as much as her but now you can't even fucking say that because all this is off Anybody could be fucking eliminated at this point. So they got us on our toes on this one. So let me know what y'all think. Leave it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video so I know you're enjoying this content. Subscribe. Hit the button down below. And then also hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And then check out my previous reviews on Ready to Love if you missed it. And then also just check out my other videos. I did some other videos on reactions, hair tutorials. Just check them out. So all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you next time.